Mortgage rates fell below 3% for the first time ever as the economy continues to struggle from the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. What does this mean for somebody who already owns a home? Let's take a look. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay in the loop. So it's pretty clear that right now home buyers can potentially save tens of thousands of dollars over the life of a loan, possibly allowing them to purchase a home that one or two years ago was out of their budget. But how do these rates affect homeowners? There are two ways. The first, of course, is that it increases buyer demand. If you've been considering selling, this is a great time. Due to the preponderance of multiple offers in this market, you'll have strong negotiating power. If you've been on the fence about selling because of the uncertainty of these times, I recommend speaking with a well-informed realtor. The second way this can benefit homeowners is the opportunity to refinance your existing mortgage. In fact, refinance applications have surged over the past few months. Reduced interest rates can save homeowners a bundle on both monthly payments and total payments over the lifetime of a mortgage. If you decide to check into this, be sure to factor in any prepayment penalties on your current mortgage and also the closing costs of your new mortgage. For a refinance, expect to pay between 2 to 5% of your loan amount. Now, you can divide your closing costs by your monthly savings to figure out how long it will take to recoup your investment. Now, let's take a look at some examples of savings through refinance. If you have a mortgage balance at, say, $500,000, and your current mortgage rate is 4%, you're probably paying about $2,387 monthly. If you refinanced that at 3%, your payment would go down to $2,108. This saves you $279 per month, and over 30 years, it would save you over $100,000 in interest payments. But what if your current mortgage balance is only $100,000? Your monthly payment may currently be around $477. A new payment at 3% would come to about $422, saving you $55 per month. This would save you over $20,000 over 30 years. I'll put a link in this video's description below to an online refinance calculator so that you can calculate based on your current mortgage situation. Now, do we know how low mortgage rates could go? We can't say with certainty, but forecasters at Freddie Mac and at the Mortgage Bankers Association predict 30-year mortgage rates will average 3.2% and 3.5% respectively in 2021. However, economists at Fannie Mae expect them to dip even lower to an average of 2.8% next year. The National Association of Realtors Chief Economist Lawrence Yoon expects that we will see mortgage rates stay near this level for the next 18 months because of the significance of the Fed's stance. But depending on what happens with the pandemic, with an economic recovery, and or with the upcoming election, rates could rise back up to pre-pandemic levels sooner than expected. So, if you have the opportunity to take advantage of the current low rates, now looks like it may be an excellent time to do so. I'm not an economist. I'm a realtor who keeps in tune with the marketplace. So, I encourage you to seek the advice of a financial advisor. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like it, to share it, and of course, to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you on the next video.